Hey, Yannick, how are you? I'm very good, I'm very good, thank you. High five. Okay, so today we are going for a lesson of uh, freestyle for your triathlon. Uh, currently, you are doing some uh, triathlon race, and in, uh, in some weeks, you will go to Phuket to do a 300 meter swim. Uh, no, 1.8. Yeah. But for now, your average speed is. Uh, Two minutes roughly per 100 meter. Okay, so what I can do today, uh, we check how you swim, and from how you look on the swimming, we'll work on the speed and the sensations. Can you show me how good you are? Sure. <laughs> Excellent. Ok, bah vas-y tranquillo et je te suis. Ok, euh, bah vas-y, tu, tu veux un feedback maintenant Ok, euh, ok, super, nice, uh, it's very relaxed, which is great. Um, try, when you, when you enter the water, your hands is slightly going to the middle. Let's try to open up more. Keep your right hand on the right side, yeah. your left on the left side, and don't go to the middle line. Just open up your hands and try to swim again like this, more open. Okay, slightly better, less snaky. Relax your elbows, stretch forward. Excellent. I right, keep going. There is 10 more meters. It's 50 meters cool. Comment ça va? Ouais, ça va. Pas fatigué? Ok, tu la préfères? You, you prefer when it's more open or you see? You feel the difference? Yeah, I feel the difference. I guess. Uh, well, it feels a lot more transversal, so I'm not. I'm not really pushing outwards, but more alongside. It's more when you enter. Then I want you to uh, to open up. When you touch the water and you glide on the front, yeah. less middle, more open. Then when you pull under water, don't worry, just look for the pressure under your hands. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so there is 40 meters from here to the end. Uh, we can do another time like this. Now your kicks, when you use your legs, try to kick not so big like this, but smaller, just smooth on the surface. But faster? Uh, not more powerful, still relaxed, but slightly smaller, so slightly faster. And Allez Yannick, keep going. Okay, how you feel about it? Yeah, it's different feeling though. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I'm kicking a bit harder. But I guess it's just compensating, maybe, or... Uh... Actually, you're still too too, too big. Wide. Yeah, and amplitude. Try to have it, like, really small. Like, um, even you you don't focus on the speed, just to minimize it. Mm -hmm. So just small and fast. Just focus on the, the smaller size with your feet. Okay. For your hands, that's much better. More open like this, actually, gives you a more straight direction. Then if you go middle, you're, you're slightly snaky, okay? Let's go.
Okay. Ahí. ¿Cómo fue? Yeah, that was better for me in terms of uh, instructions. That's more fast and smaller, yeah. so your legs are actually um, less drowning. Okay. okay, more horizontal. The, the faster you kick, the faster you maintain your legs on the surface. If you do too big underwater, you actually drown a bit, so you drag water. If you drag water, there is resistance, you go less fast. Okay. But it should not be tiring, so the legs are actually very soft. In long distance, it's just to balance your body horizontal. In sprint, it gives you power to move forward. In, in uh, endurance, it's more to stay horizontal. Now your hands you need to have a bit more rhythmic so i'm i'm kind of happy with the opening now uh, okay just take the camera try to show you so you are here right mm -hmm. before you just like this and you cross like that okay now you open more so we are more like open here now you're gonna have this acceleration when you breathe you really relax and you keep going so there is no rhythm so can you swim with no rhythm Just move your hands nicely. Yeah. Let's move. Now let's average. You accelerate on the water and you throw your hands forward. Glide further. Especially after breathing. You breathe and you don't rest. You breathe and you throw it. So breathe and go. Breathe and go. One, two, three, throw it forward. So you feel okay. the stretch right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay? Yeah. Let's try like this. Same kicks, same hands, just more rhythmic. I can feel the acceleration. Your arms are like going straight away. Now your heart, you should feel you're a bit like getting up now. Yeah, sure. Slightly a little bit. Yeah. It's okay in terms of, uh, okay. Let's chin lower a little bit. So same things, you kick smaller, you open your hands left on the left, right on the right. You accelerate underwater. You throw your hand forward, you stretch forward before the pool. And now you chin lower. When you breathe, after the breath, you look on the side and then you chin on your chest after. So basically it's like you dive, okay? You breathe, you throw your hands and then you dive with your chin on your chest. Accept to don't look forward. Triathlon, sometimes you must look forward, but when you don't, you basically see into the lake, nothing much under the ground. So the more your chin is low, the fastest you go because the more horizontal you are. Good, keep it low. Did you, did you try to chin lower? Yeah. Yeah? How you feel about it? It's different, uh, slightly different perspective because I, I don't think I had the, the right direction yet, but... You lose vision. Yeah. But in terms of speed, do you feel a difference? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. You, you, go, you yeah. feel you glide faster? Yeah, clearly. So, it's not important to see where you go, actually. Just when you breathe, On the side, you check if you are pretty much at the right direction. But when you swim, you must just look down on the water. You don't need to chin up to look forward. You can look forward outside the water when, during the triathlon, you, you exactly, you look for the scenery, you look if you are at the right position, you know. Yeah. But if not, when you swim, you swim. You just focus on the sensation. 
Don't focus on the scenery, focus on your sensation. So chin lower, focus on the glide sensation. That's better in terms of speed, that's better in terms of sensation if you start to feel it. So just be used to it. Lose the vision and let's try again on the same small kick, less vision. And eventually when you don't know where you go, you can chin up one time like triathlon, you know? And then you see how. Let's go. Smaller kick, keep your legs fast and small, don't draw on your back, glide on the front. So how is the sensation? Yeah, much nicer. I mean, in terms of the gliding, you yeah. can feel a lot <coughs> less, less uh, I guess, interference. The, probably the drag that exactly. is <coughs> normally creates. Sorry. Yeah, it's about the drag actually. It's exactly this. You, you head low, so you enter the water better. If your head is high, you just push the water with your head forward. So. Now your kick smaller, your head lower, you feel better glide. There is two ways to improve. We improve on your um, capacity of uh, being stronger in the water. Means we go faster, we push forward, we pull stronger. That's, that's pretty much uh, physio. And in terms of techniques, if you are well positioned, then you just need to be used to the good position and just force yourself to go faster. It's like running, you run correctly, now you just need to go faster under the timing, yeah. okay? So, for today, in terms of uh, correction on the techniques, I'm happy with what I got. Now I'm gonna work with you on the intensity a little bit, okay? And we will start to do timing. And next time we will see how it goes, okay? Yeah. Are you okay, Nico, like this? Yeah. Okay, stop the video for the technique at that part, okay? <laughs> bye, bye.